Well, what a wonderful theatrical setting we have for this big game. It's dark now. Snow flurries are falling inside Old Trafford. The teams are shaking hands. Two teams from Manchester. But this is a match that is being followed almost all over the world. And we've had to wait until the second weekend of December for this first Manchester derby of the season. Let's hope it's worth the wait, Robbie Savage. Yeah, it's been a fantastic build-up on Five Live with Jonathan leading the way. You know, Will Perry with the fans. We're ready for it, John. Floodlights are all trapping, it's snowing. The fans are buzzing. Can't wait, John. Just looking to our left here, Steve Bruce has just arrived and taken his seat just next to us. Ryan Giggs sitting in the row behind him. The England manager, Gareth Southgate, I can clearly see him as well. There are seven England players in the starting lineup for this Manchester derby and these are the teams then Manchester United with De Gea in goal to back four today of Valencia, Smalling, Rojo and Young in midfield Herrera and Matic Lingard, Rashford, Martial and Lukaku the Manchester United substitutes Lindelof, Phil Jones on his way back Mata, Ibrahimovic, Luke Shaw, McTominay and Sergio Romero the Manchester United, Manchester City team I just see Vincent Company shaking hands with Antonio Valencia the Manchester United captain Company walks back and takes up his position in this Manchester City team Edison in goal the back four of Walker, Company, Otamendi and Delft Fernandinho, De Bruyne, David Silva Raheem Sterling, Leroy Zane and Gabriel Jesus and the City subs Danilo Gundogan Aguero, Mangala, Bernardo Silva, Zinchenko and Claudio Bravo. OK, we are ready for kick-off. Manchester City here at Old Trafford with an eight-point lead over second-place Manchester United. As the game begins, Michael Oliver blows his whistle and Manchester United... As the BBC's World Service join us here at Old Trafford on Five Live. And Manchester United, red shirts, white shorts, black socks. And Manchester City in the sky blue shirts, white shorts and blue socks. And City in possession inside their own half. The two central defenders, Otamendi and company. And then out to the right hand side. And City settling into possession. Vincent Company, who was a little bit of a doubt for this game. Tall such an imposing presence no John Stones for City and company turns and, and gives an early feel of the ball to his goalkeeper Edison yeah Rashford on the left hand side for United you know Martial on the right you look at Martial does he prefer the left hand side when he's driving at defenders to cut back on his right foot but I'm sure they'll swap you know at times throughout this first half yeah I think you're right Robbie we'll see them switch surely you would expect uh, Manchester United with the ball in their own left back position Young clearing away uh, header one but advances to the edge of the area where Chris Smalling just clears it downfield for Lukaku to chase company just under a little bit of pressure there for a moment or two had to stretch for it played across to Otamendi and now with Lukaku still pressing Edison the goalkeeper a long clearance from the Manchester City keeper well that was a warning sign there you know Lukaku gave Cookney 10 yards he was always in control Cookney but Lukaku there is bearing down on the Manchester City captain didn't look all that comfortable in his movement Cookney and Valencia shoves over Zane on the left hand side so a free kick in front of the stand here in which we're sitting the Sir Bobby Charlton stand City quickly get it back underway De Bruyne to Sterling now to Fernandinho rather scuffed that pass he was looking to help it on its way out to the left hand side to Zane so much exciting a, a, attacking talent on both teams with uh, Jose Mourinho going for this bold move of including Rashford Martial Lukaku and Lingard just getting a little bit of mobile phone interference I, I notice we'll see if we can do something about that for you but Otamendi is carrying the ball forward towards the left hand side Zane is there plays it infield towards David Silva and then back into the centre circle to Vincent Company. Looking at Fernandinho for Manchester City as well, John. 
you know when the two centre halves get the ball Otamendi will come he's always available you know at times he'll just drop in between them to make three centre halves you know he's got his eye on Lingard who's been so impressive for Manchester United in recent weeks but Ferd Fernandinho is a key component of this Man City side De Bruyne has found some space here tries to lift it forward but it's blocked by a combination of Herrera and Matic groans from the home supporters oh and then Herrera was caught there by Walker but referee Oliver says play on playing the advantage and here come Manchester United pouring forward with Rashford on the left hand side Rashford into the full back position cuts it back and um, excellent work from Fernandinho there to get back into position when Walker was caught downfield now will Michael Oliver show a yellow card to uh, Kyle Walker yes he is yeah he did you know Walker was late on Herrera Herrera initially gave the ball away just outside his own penalty area he won it back and then Walker was late Herrera did was very theatric in his fall he caught him with his straight in left leg actually Kyle Walker and the referee doesn't matter what minute of the game is he books Walker after three and a half minutes now it's uh, now with Rashford running at Walker you know, at times Martial, he's got to be so careful the Manchester City fullback. I just wondered, Robbie, whether he would book him, you know, at such an early stage of the game, but quite right. Quite right, game management, the referee now, he's set the tone, the referee. This is BBC Five Live on the World Service, we're here at, at Old Trafford, and what a scene as well, with the snow swirling around, and these two, the top two in the Premier League, with the Bruyne surging forward towards the edge of the penalty area and just overrunning it but United haven't cleared it here's Sterling ball ricochets into the penalty area headed away on the edge of the box and now taken away nicely done by Herrera to sidestep away from David Silva and Manchester United have got it back uh, long ball forward but that's way way from Ashley Young beyond either Lukaku or Lingard and through to Edison so the jeers from the just over 3,000 Manchester City fans who are in the that little area of the stand to our right, which you'll know well if you've come here as a visiting supporter in between this stand, the Sir Bobby Charlton stand, and the towering East stand to our right. That was, nil, a, nil. That was a slight worry for Manchester United there, the way Kevin De Bruyne just surged through the middle of the park. Herrera and Matters were too far apart. You know, eventually it took a, a centre-half to, to stop Kevin De Bruyne, but he got the boy run 30, 40 yards with it. Herrera and Matic were too far apart from each other. He just went through the gap with ease, and it took Smalling just to stop him on the edge of the area. De Gea clearing from the ground. Flick on by Lukaku. But it runs for Fabian Delph in the left-back position. Fabian Delph, I'm sure he's one of the players that Gareth Southgate will be watching. I will, uh, if he's fit, uh, I must say I'm expecting Delft to make a, a strong claim for a place in the World Cup squad. De Bruyne goes for one of those trademark passes, but he's overhit it. And of course there'll be nerves out there for, for these players. Such a huge occasion. It's a massive, there's no nerves from Edison though. He's got um, Lingard chasing him down, he's in the six-yard box, you know, in level with the post. Ball gets placed to his left foot calmly plays it to Otamendi five yards away from him calmly plays into Kevin De Bruyne they will continue to play out whether it's Lukaku Martial Rashford Lingard pressing the goalkeeper he will always look to play out nil nil Manchester United nil Manchester City nil the two managers the coaches there just on the edge of the coaching area Gabriel Jesus goes down under the challenge from Valencia no free kick for that but then Sterling is tripped by Herrera free kick to Manchester City so Mourinho and Guardiola this is the 20th time they have coached teams against one another. Jose Mourinho has won only four of the previous meetings between the two of them. Mourinho has got his grey padded hooded jacket on. And Manchester City with Otamendi who tries to play through the inside left position. But Valencia was there to see it back to De Gea. Whereas the, the shaven headed Pep Guardiola has gone for that little black bomber jacket again. Lukaku is up against Otamendi and is a judge to have fouled him free kick to City yeah long ball up from David here there to Lukaku I'm not sure there was too much in on Otamendi you know trying to protect the ball went down under the challenge from Lukaku you know just near the halfway line in, in his own half Otamendi great atmosphere inside the ground proper atmosphere inside Old Trafford today Robbie yeah brilliant John you know the 3,000 Manchester City fans making such a noise away to our right 
So the City the United fans are a little bit quiet at the minute, John. It's the 175th meeting between these two teams in league and cup. And here's Walker for Manchester City out towards the right hand side, just for the time being. Zane has taken up a position out there, but Manchester City going back into central defence. Mark Lawrenson was saying early on in the programme, remember the league meeting last season, which was actually the last match that Manchester United lost here at Old Trafford, when, when City really tore them apart in the first half. Won by only two goals to one in the end. Here's Fernandinho playing the ball out. Zane is there on the right-hand side. And now Manchester City with Zane into the penalty area, but covering from both Rashford and Young, and they're able to dispossess him and clear it away. City start again. The expectation was that City would have more of the ball, and that is the case in these opening, what, eight minutes of the match. Still neither goalkeeper has had to make a save. David Silva now in the central area. David Silva just tracking the ball from right to left and then rolling it out to Fabian Delft. Now back in towards David Silva. De Bruyne takes it up. Ball infield from him. De Bruyne, who scored in that win last season. Since then, Manchester United unbeaten in 40 home matches. Ball slipped through by Sterling, but that's through Gabriel Jesus. When seemed to go right through him. And United clear. I think it hit him. He wasn't expecting it, John. Sterling with the ball. He's, he was allowed to get on the half turn. You know, and Jesus has made the run. He's onside because the linesman's flag didn't go up. And I think it just hit him on the heel. Yeah, he tried the little back flick to Kevin De Bruyne. Didn't come off. If he could have just opened his body up and took it on his right foot, it'd have been at a free shot to go. It wasn't that far behind him, really. No. And he was clear in, yeah. just outside the six-yard box. And actually, just saw a, a, a shot of him actually smiling, laughing about it. You know, it's almost as if to say what on earth was I doing see now Edison's got the ball in the six yard box playing it to Cupney if I was United now I'd go and press because you can see that if you press them hurry them you know they, United let them have it you know, if I was United I'd go and press the goalkeeper press Cupney Cupney's just back into the side Otamendi not great on the ball you know the Old Trafford go and press you know the goalkeeper in City's back four just being pointed out to me on the on the live reporting pages on the BBC website, Manchester City starting with 78% of possession. Nil-nil. This is BBC Five Live and the World Service. If you're on the move, maybe if you're stuck in the car somewhere, uh, you can also listen to us via the BBC Sport app. Ball headed over the top for Lukaku, but it bounces to Walker. Was in two minds there whether to play it back to Edison. Lukaku's all over him, but very coolly Walker cuts back. Uh, away from Lukaku and plays it across to Otamendi the almost free scoring Otamendi Sterling dispossessed by Herrera and then Rashford's pass over hit through to Lukaku through to the goalkeeper see what Lukaku tried to say Rashford got the ball he peeled onto Cupney's shoulder and if he could have took the ball on his right foot he'd have been on goal ball swung out towards the right hand side Zane is still there Jesus and Sterling just outside the penalty area it's played back now to Silva 25 yards out he's on his left foot he's being uh, forced to go from right to left gives it to De Bruyne then Fernandinho the touch back to the dangerous Zane Zane square to Sterling inside the penalty area surrounded by red shirts back to Zane again his ball to the edge of the area intercepted by Herrera already playing a very important role Herrera breaking up a number of City attacks now Zane again into the penalty area then back to the edge of the box shot from Fernandinho hits possibly his own man Gabriel Jesus just to the right of the penalty spot cleared away by United De Bruyne comes again for Manchester City he continues his run Gabriel Jesus can't get it back to him well done Valencia actually to, uh, to win the ball back and then Otamendi slides in on the halfway line to deflect it out for a throw. Nil-nil. Yeah, United aren't actually, you know, they're not parking the bus. You know, but what they're doing, they're just getting men behind the ball. They're leaving Lukaku isolated up front. Rashford's tucking in. Martial's tucking in. You know, when City have got the ball. You know, City, all the possession, looking for that one-two around the box. But United defending round well, Very good defensively for United. You know, but just Lukaku's going to have to hold the ball up. You know, bring people into play because it's all City at the minute. Well, this is the tightest defence in the Premier League this season against the most potent attack. Manchester City having scored 46 goals in the league, 62 in all competitions against Manchester United, who've 
let in only nine. And, you know, I think it should be underlined. Manchester United have won every game they've played at Old Trafford this season in all competitions. City coming forward. Oh, and then uh, a little trip on Walker, who was flying down the right-hand side. And the Manchester City players, one or two of them, David Silva, going across and suggesting that Matic, I think it was, who tripped him, what about a yellow card for Matic? Well, the United players are complaining. They think Walker's got the ground too easy. You know, Matic has caught him. You know, more. I think Walker's more than not initiated the contract, the, the contact. You know, he kicked Matic's shin. He's gone over at speed. I think it's the right decision, the referee, but and, and the right decision not to book Mat Matic. Matic has gone in for the challenge, hasn't he? In that sort of pulled I'm, out. I'm pulling out of this style. Free kick though, out on the right hand side, nil nil. De Bruyne plays it in, and Valencia at the back post wasn't sure, wasn't sure where Gabriel Jesus was behind him. In fact, he wasn't close. He was probably six or seven yards away, but Valencia swept it behind for the first corner to the visitors. Well, when City. that ball, when that ball got swung into the box, I think it was Herrera and Otamendi was a coming together. You know, did he pull Otamendi to the ground? I'm not so sure he did, but Otamendi was appealing to the referee. So a corner from uh, just next to the tunnel at the Stretford end. To our left, floodlights shining brightly down. Snow still gently falling. Ball played into the near post and it's come off the defender and deflected straight into De Gea's gloves. And he had to be sharp there. Matic swung a leg at it on the corner of the six yard box as they say could have gone anywhere he was fortunate that he actually took pace off it very fortunate you know so he's, on, he's in the near post space on the corner of the six yard box he's tried to volley it clear with his right foot he misses it it hits him on the left leg deflects towards the goalkeeper who was right on the spot yeah it's more or less straight at De Gea who was able to nimbly dip down and pick it up so still nil-nil David Silva forward for Manchester City who are attacking again uh, United though with Ashley Young turns just hits it away long up towards Lukaku but nowhere near him really and Otamendi was easily able to get there first he's headed it out towards the far side where Rashford just dispossessed by De Bruyne but then De Bruyne does well and wins it back from Ashley Young and De Bruyne now plays it square to Sterling in a central position Sterling into the edge of the area to Jesus back to Sterling stabbed it goalwards but straight at De Gea and uh, Chris Smalling went with Raheem Sterling and just did enough just yeah. enough Sterling found himself in a great position you know, he was unmarked in a number 10 position he got on the half turn he drove played a little one-two with Jesus and then you're right John Smalling got across eight yards out to the corner of the goal Sterling couldn't oh what's a bad tackle from Delft Delft has, uh, has gone in on, on Martial uh, he's ok Martial uh, a free kick nothing more than that nothing more just a free kick John we built the game up so much what are we 16 minutes in the keeper hasn't had a shot to save you I the keeper it's all in the middle of the park good possession one save possibly but it was a comfortable save as Jonathan's pointing out you know yeah. I had a save that good tempo though good tempo it, it's not it's, it, it's not being played with a handbrake off though no it's good it's, it's good stuff oh ball played forward Fernandinho lovely finds Gabriel Jesus oh. into the penalty area left foot shot but straight at De Gea well he did wonderfully well there against Rojo left him on his backside <laughs> but left foot shot scuffed it straight at the keeper brilliant from Jesus you know his one on one situation he's driving into the penalty area he does a step over Rojo falls to the ground he's got more time you know he's took the shot early on his left foot side footed it straight at the hair it's all City United defending what an opportunity for Gabriel Jesus there but Rolls fall to the ground was quite funny Mourinho concerned do you think? well it's all City was it 78% possession two opportunities one for Sterling one for um, Jesus United not being anywhere near Edison's goal Lingard not in the game Marcia and Rashford haven't had a kick it's gone up to 81% possession in favour of Manchester City yep. uh, Matic plays the ball over the top now that was all the hit as well Lukaku chasing it but not by much no that's a threat 
you know, Lukaku peeing onto the shoulder, either Cutney or Otamendi. That's where they miss Pogba because Pogba can play those passes. He's a huge miss. You know, people saying, you know, will they miss him? You know, nonsense. Of course they'll miss him. So it is still nil nil. Uh, Graham Souness in his newspaper column this morning. He uh, will come back to that because here Manchester United, Martial who's drifted out towards the left-hand side, gives it to Rashford, Lingard's on the edge of the area, Rashford's ball in, far too close to Edison, who's able to come out and, and claim it quite comfortably just above his head. Yeah. So, but as Martial, John, uh, you know, wandered over to that left-hand side, I think that's where he does his best work, Martial. You know, you might have a look if you're in just to swap Rashford and Martial for five minutes. What it was that Graham Soon has said, Robbie, was, as the ball's played forward, but beyond Jesus, so it's straight through for a goal kick. Um, he said it's a bonus that Pogba is suspended for this match because he's the most indisciplined midfielder they have he said against the big teams you need your central midfielders to protect the defence he's all over the place positionally well I don't think it's a bonus that Paul, Paul Pogba's missing this game at all listen Graeme Soon is you know, fantastic player good pundit but on this occasion in my opinion I think he's talking absolute nonsense it's one for you on 6 or 6 later with Kelly Cates and Ian Wright depending on what happens the award winning 6 or 6 yet another award this week from the Football Supporters Federation on Monday night yeah you were there as well John I was there did, did you enjoy your dinner Lo losing out <laughs> didn't, you, didn't see you get on the stage <laughs> Lose, losing out to Martin Tyler again it's the third time I've lost out to Martin oh, Tyler don't worry me. there can only be one winner John the can Robbie and you were it Thanks. in your category and Kelly and, and Jason and, and Ian and Mark Lawrenson and Laurel here's Gabriel uh, Jesus on the left hand side back to Otamendi he's joined the attack Otamendi Delft Manchester City dominating possession Gabriel Jesus into the area David Silva works it back across the edge of the six yard box but uh, Matic was able to step in into possession United have been forced further and further and further back towards the Stretford end to our left with the the sun, snow still drifting down in this part of Greater Manchester. It's quite a setting. And uh, Manchester City with Sterling back to Fernandinho. Back to Sterling again. A little ball to De Bruyne. He's, he's my player of the season so far, Kevin De Bruyne. Uh, Fernandinho to the edge of the area. Sterling now with a touch out towards the left-hand side. Now he's back into the box. Manchester City's top scorer, Sterling. Still going. Worked into David Silva. Shot blocked. Um, back to Silva who shoots straight rather tamely at De Gea you can hear the frustration now for the Manchester United fans you know 20 minutes gone they've yet to have a shot here Old Trafford all oh, City losing the ball Sally Rubbs gets it off Ashley Young City dictating the pace of play Fernandino just in front of the City back line getting the ball into Silva De Bruyne and Sterling is causing problems all oh, Manchester City 20 minutes played at Old Trafford Manchester United nil. Manchester City nil, City with more than the lion's share of possession and now Gabriel Jesus receives it from De Bruyne Gabriel Jesus oh. into the area the challenge comes in on him Gabriel Jesus goes down it was inside the box Herrera's challenge and Michael Oliver says no no penalty and my first thought John was penalty, penalty. Herrera Correct. stuck his leg out Jesus great footwork in the box little step over drives at Herrera sideways Herrera sticks his leg out was there contact my first thought there was we'll have to wait for the replay but referee Michael Oliver immediately shook his head said no and uh, I'm with you Robbie it, it did look it it did look as though it may well have been given as a penalty for Manchester United now on the attack and the ball played through by Martial but Lingard was furthest forward and it was cut out on the edge of the area and Martial suggesting he was caught late there yeah he was by Fabian Delph and then oh! in goes company on Herrera near the centre circle he, I think he got the ball you know but he certainly got Herrera too and now the Manchester United players are uh, there are three, four, five, six and more of them just near Michael Oliver and uh, it's warming up it's heating oh, up oh it's brilliant you know it's Herrera he's in the middle of the park company comes I'll tell you what John it's a great tackle it's a great tackle from Cupney. It's an old-fashioned tackle. We're just looking at the chat. The... I tell you what, John. Jesus there. That for me. Watching it now. United attack. United. 
Uh, with the ball with Valencia on the right hand side it's out of play as uh, Gabriel Jesus is challenging back it's deflected out of play uh, now Martial got another word from you on the, the, the penalty shout Gabriel Jesus and in fact it's all the hit by Herrera straight through for a goal kick so when Gabriel Jesus went down in the box Herrera stuck his layout John and it, and it seemed to me that Jesus seemed to step over the challenge and then go down after it you know but Michael Oliver was right on the spot it's a very difficult one for the referee that you know as now Pep Guardiola is speaking to Jesus but going back to that challenge from Cupney John I thought it was a fantastic challenge from the captain you know he won the ball from the side you know Herrera did make a meal of it I'm not a referee give a free kick but it shouldn't have been even been a free kick I suppose he you know, presumably gave it because you know he got the ball but he got a little bit of the man as well but uh, with no yellow card and now Gabriel Jesus challenged by Valencia and uh, City with De Bruyne De Bruyne now driving forward still going towards the edge of the penalty area uses Gabriel Jesus to his left tempo is so high it's nil-nil five live on the world service Fernandinho is going to shoot from distance but high wide and it's a third of the way up the Stratford end so going back to Gabriel Jesus so that's a dive then um, is it a dive John I've got to say it again John it, was, it happened so quick Michael Oliver's right on the spot first and foremost when Herrera stuck his leg out I thought there was contact there you know, and the replay is inconclusive really you know the angle we've got John so I don't want to say it was a dive you know until I see it again ok but you know the words of Jose Mourinho on Friday <laughs> as, soon as, as soon as I see that I'm thinking about what he said as uh, Zane is judged to have been fouled halfway inside the city half what was it he said a little bit of wind and they fall uh, he said they lose balance very easily the well, city players John you know contact doesn't necessarily mean a penalty but on that occasion it was either a penalty or a dive and Michael uh, Michael Oliver give nothing the thing is, you know is that influencing the referee because you know the, the FA are very tight on this these days managers saying things about referees or about the refereeing of matches before games something like that happens Michael Oliver surely oh as Herrera goes strongly into the challenge but a good challenge on De Bruyne ball bounces back to Manchester City inside their own half been some blood and thunder tackles it must be said in this in this game just the one yellow card so far for Kyle Walker Manchester United nil Manchester City nil and um, you know Michael Oliver will be aware of those comments more on that anyway still nil nil City with David Silva Gabriel Jesus again out on the left hand side here Zane's played the first half on the right hand side Sterling quite centrally Sterling it is though on the left at the moment back to Fabian Delph Delph now towards the edge of the area Sterling turns challenge from Lingard we've not seen anything really of Lingard in an attacking sense after the brilliant couple of games that he's had in uh, Manchester United's previous two away games in the Premier League at Watford and Arsenal but it's not been that sort of game for Manchester United so far Rojo plays it out towards the left towards Ashley Young now Rojo again Lindelof only on the substitutes bench United going with the back four forward towards Rashford headed away by company and uh, Walker challenged by Lingard who's not going to be able to keep it in but he prevents it from going out of play for a goal kick it's a throw in to Manchester City near their own corner flag so when we talked before the game about the fact that Rashford was in the team with Martial uh, and Lingard and how they might be able to get at company and Otamendi not really seen that so far and now just got a little stoppage because Michael Oliver has gone across there just to tell Kyle Walker to go back and take this throw all the way back near the, the corner flag itself Manchester United trying to press City back in there the throw to Fernandinho headed back to Walker who clears it away downfield to the halfway line so it is nil-nil compelling stuff Robbie yeah, Savage yeah, brilliant you know, we've seen tackles flying in you know City with two chances all the possession United have not threatened Edison's goal at all with the attacking players they've got on the, on the pitch as City break again here they are through the middle Sterling into the path of De Bruyne beautifully weighted from Sterling he's halfway inside the Manchester United half Kevin De Bruyne ball at his feet just rolls it to his left to Silva and now 
Fernandinho out to the right hand side it goes from him and then from Sane back in field towards Fernandinho Fernandinho lifts it across the edge of the penalty area to Gabriel Jesus gets it down Gabriel Jesus back to the edge of the penalty area and David Silva is challenged and the ball skitters away spins away out of play for a corner to yeah. Manchester City you know a little one touch play around the box over De Bruyne Jesus Sterling it's all City you know just getting over a little bit in the middle of the park United Matic and Herrera you know just need Martial, Rashford and Lingard just to help out a little bit which they're doing to, to their credit you know but that's hindering them going forward because when they win the ball Lukaku's isolated up front you know with whether it's Kupni or, or Otamendi and Fernandinho front, he's got no chance corner then Zane it's a deep one this time too deep over everyone inside the box whether they're wearing a red or a blue shirt and Rashford is able to run away with it it's a waste from the set piece Long one downfield for Manchester United. This is for Lingard to chase. It's played back to Edison at pace by Walker. And his touch, the goalkeeper's touch was unbelievable almost. Brilliant. Under pressure. You United see, players bearing down on him. You seen one with Casper Schmeichel yesterday, <laughs> didn't we? At St. Yeah. James's Park when he flipped it over the attacker's head and half boiled it out. On that occasion, Walker sprinting towards his own goal. The ball's bounced. Lingard's right on him. It bounces on the 18 yard line, he pings it back to Edison, who just cushioned it with his left foot inside the six yard area. Played it on Mendy, who then played it to De Bruyne, and City were out. Brilliant, yeah. brilliant from the goalkeeper. Hit at some pace. Back to him. Good defending as well, John. Yeah, it was by Walker. But it was, it was killed stone dead by the touch of Edison. Brilliant. Manchester United nil. Manchester City nil. And uh, still the snow drifts down not as heavy as it has been at, at some times as I say we might have some very captive audiences somewhere around the country I hope you're not stuck in snow but if you are we'll try and make it bearable for you Fernandinho plays the ball to the edge of the area Sterling's able to take it down he found some space there but Rojo was quickly across and the bouncing ball was cleared away by Manchester United's Argentine defender Ibrahimovic on the substitutes bench I couldn't help but notice that having not been involved for the last couple of matches here now Otamendi carries it forward and shoots wastefully 25 yards high over the crossbar and this one also about three a, a third of the way up the lower tier of the Stratford A but that's happened two or three times now John where a City player is allowed to drive down the centre of the field you know towards the Manchester United penalty area because what's happening is because San is playing so high and wide, Jesus has gone to the left at times. Sterling's playing as a false number nine as well. You know, they retreat in the, the midfield two going to the back four. You know, and that allows all the space to open up for the City player to attack. And they've had two or three shots now. We've seen it with Leicester City yesterday at Newcastle when Maris finally scored from distance. You know, you can't keep letting City shoot from range it's very much a Guardiola approach though isn't it as you say with the false number nine Zane on the interesting because Jesus is on the left and Sterling is playing as a centre forward but a false number nine it's, yeah. it's very intricate no. Otamendi shoved over by Lingard uh, it's a free kick Lingard put the ball in the net actually from the angle but uh, the whistle had correctly gone for Lingard shoving over Otamendi so it's a free kick in the left back area for City I think it's the right call you know Otamendi's got his body between Lingard and the ball going towards the corner Lingard doesn't need a foul there it's only a little nudge but we've seen one Lovren today on Calvert-Lewin in the derby at Anfield the referee give a penalty you know any little nudge you go over yeah finished Liverpool 1 Everton 1 you might be on your way home from that one or from Southampton 1 Arsenal 1 finished Hibs 2 Celtic 2 in the Premiership earlier and uh this is Five Live, but over on Five Live Sports Extra, we're continuing to bring you commentaries from the Rugby Union Champions Cup. It's Saracens Claremont that is over there at the moment. Uh, it's not Saracens Claremont because that's off. So if you know how, how wide City make the pitch, so you've got Sane, who's hugging the right-hand touchline, Jesus, who's hugging the left-hand touchline, Sterling then is playing as a force number nine. That allows De Bruyne, Silva, and Fernandinho to get on the ball because Ashley Young's got to stay wide, Valencia's got to stay wide. That's why City are dominating possession. Fernandinho carrying the ball through the middle to his left, 
to Sterling into the area shrugs off Herrera Sterling still going David Silva back to Sterling running across the box and running into Young and in the follow through catching him says referee Oliver who's 10 yards away now Sterling's protesting about this quite strongly quite vocally it's a free kick to Manchester United and referee Oliver is uh, has called Sterling across and then sent him away so it's a free kick to Manchester United they look threatening said he done every time they get in that United final third the quick movement of Sterling little one-twos you know they just can't get the shot off of the two occasions they have you know with Jesus and Sterling they was both straight at David De Gea but Sterling looks a threat you know there Ashley Young with a good challenge on the penalty spot Sterling's follow through caught Young therefore free kick Manchester United it's Robbie oh. Savage on five live as uh, there's, a, there's a clash of heads Rojo in the centre circle immediately Michael Oliver stops play uh, it is, it, it's Rojo the Manchester United player who's the City player? Delph no just say it <laughs> Silver Silver thank you so no. the, the yeah Otamendi headed it towards Silver and Rojo has clattered oh. into Silver I just thought the both are ok it's the, it's the front of Rojo's head so it's his forehead it's the back of Silva's head and, uh, and they're both now down receiving treatment in the centre circle so um, let's hope they're both ok uh, Silva is just sitting up but, but Rojo is actually lying down and uh, there seems to be more concern about Rojo than there is about Silva uh, Silver is now on his feet and it, with his left hand with his he's holding his head and then rubs the, the back of his head as well he's been given a water bottle but I, I think there is blood as regards Rojo because I can see a, a, a bandage or a rag is being used to, to wipe the blood away you know you're looking at this way City have lined up John it's fascinating me to think we all thought you know Aguero on the size he's used with players at centre four, but what he's done is he's just playing as wide left as he possibly can. He's just his heels are on the on the touch line, sand the other side, and Sterling's playing as a centre four, but he's not playing up against the two centre halves, Small and Rojo. He's dropping in as a false number nine. Yeah, that's you know, the tactical surprise that's so the far. Isn't it? It's working very well because when Sterling gets into that position he gets on the half turn and looks to play little one twos you know because Silva and De Bruyne at times will be ahead of him so it's very very good from Manchester City Manchester United are preparing Lindelof just in case Rojo's not able to continue uh, and Lindelof is now standing Jose Mourinho has actually left his coaching area and he's gone away over to the left to walk towards the, the Stratford end to speak to Lindelof who's now pulling off his tight black tracksuit bottoms and it looks as though he is going to come onto the field so I'm guessing the signal has come from in the centre circle from the medical people that Rojo is not going to be able to continue he's still lying on his back and now good he, um, he's leaning up he's sitting up now Rojo yeah it's a good sign that both players you know David Silva's on his feet you know Rojo now sitting up that's a, that's a good sign but you know it's unbelievable really with all the attacking options Manchester United have in their starting lineup. Edison is yet to make a save which is quite incredible here at Old Trafford not had a save to make this means some great touches with his feet at the other end De Gea just a couple of for De Gea regulation saves from Sterling and Jesus Gabriel Jesus also going down in the box under a challenge from Herrera went down very easily uh, and Rojo now has uh, uh, has trotted over to this side of the field and he's pulled off his shirt so he can see the, the full extent of his magnificent tattoos he's absolutely covered in them all over his upper body but uh, he's off the field he'll need a new shirt he's been cleaned up so Manchester United playing with 10 men and now City quickly on the attack Gabriel Jesus into the penalty area important challenge from Valencia and then uh, a, a trip well, he was frustrated there, Gabriel Jesus, that he'd lost possession and he fouled Martial as Martial looked to run away with the ball. See, I don't get Michael Oliver, so he set the standard with a, the early yellow card for Carl Walker in, in the third minute. There's Jesus losing the ball. Martial's running away from him. It's a blatant trip. That has to be a yellow card. Uh, Marcus Rojo is having a, a black bandage 
put around his head. He's changed his shorts as well, so he's had a full tyre change. Marcus Rojo, it's been a full pit stop, but a, a black bandage around his head. Usually, we see the regulation white. Shinji Okazaki last night had John, the bandage yeah. on. You know what, John, we go back to Paul Pogba, that, you know, obviously... People, Graham Zuna saying, you know, might be a bonus he doesn't play today. But where's the creativity in the middle of the park? This is Manchester United Football Club we're talking about, one of the most biggest clubs in the world. You know, he is an asset to this side the way he's played this season. And there's, you know, looking at the middle of the park, John, there's no creativity. You're not telling me the Manchester United fans want two defensive midfielders in there. You know, Jose Mourinho might, but when Pope was fit, he played. I know he's suspended, but I just don't understand. You know how anybody can say that Pogba is not an asset to this side. But Manchester United in the game with the team that they have playing the orders here or just not able they to can't get, the ball, John. get out. They can't get the ball. City playing in triangles, City dominating. When United got the ball, you know, here, you know, Herrera goes back and Rojo smashed it up front and yeah. then it goes to Fernandinho and yet City win it back and here it is straight through the middle back to David Silva who's running away from Herrera to the edge of the area angles the pass to Sterling and Sterling is challenged could challenge as well from Young back in there because that was a, a full pace there couldn't make a mistake there Young otherwise it would have been a penalty but he uh, challenged it took it cleanly and Manchester United will clear it away still nil-nil five live in the World Service from the BBC uh, latest score in the match in League 1 in Scotland by the way Adrianians 2 Wraith 1 and I presume then if the Saracens Claremont game is off the next match Exeter Leinster will be at half past 5 on 5 Live Sports Extra it's still on is it? well no one's saying it's not on so let's say it is on it is on it's on half past 5 on 5 Live Sports Extra Manchester United nil. Manchester City nil. Look at United. Oh! As uh, United with Lukaku. Lukaku uh, is challenged by Delft. The ball runs away. City have it. They are being very defensive. I don't think it's intentional. It's basically they just can't get the ball. You know, the players he's picked is an attacking lineup. No question about that. They just, they're on the retreat because City are dominant in possession. They look very lively in the final third of United. City do. So it's not the fact that let's go and park the bus, it's the fact that City at the minute are dominating, tactically outdoing United. You know, they can't get out United. City with David Silva, but passes straight into Herrera. So United have got it in front of their own defence with Rojo. And Juliet, in a producer's role today, has quite rightly pointed out that Rojo has shown a yellow card, incidentally, uh, as Ashley Young is uh, penalised. And it's a free kick to City out on the right-hand side. So is Rojo booked for the challenge on David Silva? He was. So as well as coming off worst, he's got a yellow card. So that's the first Manchester United booking. I think it was the right call as well from the referee Michael Oliver. So one each on the booking front. Walker and Rojo. Nil-nil on the goals front. David Silva. Little man. Shaven head. Ball to Sterling. Lovely return pass to David Silva. But Smalling has, uh, has done his work. Matic was there as well. And it's been cleared away aerially towards Lukaku, who tries to... Well, he does flick it on, but he flicks it on only to the Manchester City captain, Vincent Kompany. Uh, a couple of minutes ago, Rojo oh, had... Brilliant, up, uh, brilliant play from the Manchester City there. Just little triangles playing their way out. And you would say, United, at this minute of time, they've got one long hopeful ball to Lukaku. They look like they've got no idea how to break this city side down. Yeah, it's Delph and Otamendi and Fernandinho now. David Silva with a touch. Zane into the penalty area on the right-hand side. Lays it back. De Bruyne with a touch. Squares it to Sterling. Sterling in the D. He shoots. It's blocked by Smalling. Ball runs for the sky blue shirts. Delph now puts his foot on it. Crosses towards the back post. Zane beats Young. Shoots from the angle. And David De Gea throws himself high up and pushes it over the top of the bar from that shot from the tight angle from Zane corner yeah big chance for City you know it's Delph with the ball to the back post Ashley Young got under the flight of the ball mistimed it Zane great control on his right thigh cushioned it you know onto his left foot little half volley to take it to his right on the edge of the penalty uh, six yard box from the corner right foot across David De Gea stood tall near post tips over City relentless Nil-nil though.
corner for City towards the near post. It's bounced down. It's deflected. It's in. Manchester City have scored. A little David Silver in the six-yard box. It bounced up for him, and he stabbed it in. And Manchester City have turned all of this possession now into a goal. They're in front at Old Trafford. Manchester United nil. The Premier League leaders, Manchester City won. Thoroughly deserved. Great corner in. It was poor defensively from United. I'm not sure who the ball come off. Was it Lukaku? He's definitely onside. I think it was Otto Mendy with the header. And it was Ashley Young who was playing David Silva onside. He just wondered. He was a man. He gambled David Silva. The ball bounced on the six-yard line. And then he hooked it in. David De Gea come out, spread himself, simple goal, flurry deserved, City dominant, United look clueless. Well, City have been all over them in terms of possession. Match really a few clear goal scoring opportunities, but that one there in the six yard box when it bounced to David Silva, I mean, for, for Silva, that was up almost at neck height, but he was able to swivel and with his left foot turn it in from point blank range. Nothing David De Gea could do about it. Well, John, Robbie, one, one and a half minutes before half time, United have another shot at Edison. It's been City. They have they don't have to break them down. So City have, have posed question after question. And now Manchester United with Valencia down the right, but Delft slides in and it's deflected behind. And uh, it's a corner to Manchester United, their first of the game. But City taking the lead in the 43rd minute of the match. And Manchester United, it, it feels like we've been staring to our left oh, all yeah. match. But now here we are staring to the right. Rashford to take the corner. United looking to have an immediate response. Deep one, and Matic miscontrolled it. Poor touch, but he's been able to take it up again on the left hand side shrugs off one challenge then plays it into Delft but Delft blocked it and City looked to bring it away but it's won back by United rather scuffed cross however Smalling chest down it's blocked on the edge of the area Smalling shot by De Bruyne who might have fouled Smalling no free kick now Manchester United have committed men downfield and Manchester City pour forward it's four against three De Bruyne still going to the edge of the area and De Bruyne how uncharacteristic is that passed it behind Zane so Manchester United look to bring it away 1-0 Manchester City lead 4 minutes of added time after all of that uh, lengthy stoppage when Rojo had the head injury Martial now to the edge of the area Martial shoots straight along the ground at Edison who's able to scoop it up easily first yeah. shot on for Manchester United first shot on target for Manchester United comfortable save for Edison Martial on the left hand side that's where he prefers driving at Walker come inside his right foot shot from 18 yards out centre of goal straight Edison but City dominant possession confident knocking the ball around tactically outwitting Manchester United you know when I say United look clueless going forward John that was their first shot they were solid until that you know goal from a set piece where Silva was just allowed to wander into the six yard box and hook it past David De Gea Ashley Young was playing him on side, so there was no doubt he was on side. No, but all City, John, thoroughly deserved the lead. No question, United seriously need to up their play in the second half and, you know, go at this City side. It's only 1-0. Oh. oh, poor clearance from De Gea. Straight out to Zane. Zane now, Young. Oh, Young puts in the challenge on Zane, who goes down inside the box, but referee Oliver says no, no penalty for that. Uh, and no one, apart from Zane, is making anything of that. Here's Martial on the left-hand side. Martial United looking to try and find an equaliser before half-time. We are in added time. And uh, David Silva, the goal scorer, deflected out of play for a throw-in to Manchester United. So, with City leading 1-0, they are on course to open an 11-point lead at the top of the table. Cross into the area. It's been missed by Delft. Rashford is there. Scores. 1-1. United equalise in stoppage time at the end of the first half and United supporters well it's relief as much as anything else there's a man in front of us who's waving his crutch in the air it's come out of the blue but it's very grateful for the Reds it's 1-1 
Oh, it was a ball into the box. It was a hopeful ball. The first ball in was itself. He's miscontrolled it. He's tried to control it with his right foot. It's hit him on the chest. Rashford's alert. He's alive. And he side footed it past Edison to equalise on the stroke at half time. Game on. Just the one cross really from the left hand side. It's missed by the central defence. And then, as you say, Fabian Delft. Poor really from Delft. And, and it presented it on a plate for Rashford, who popped it away. You know, defensively, Otamendi got under the flight of the ball. He missed it. Delft was expecting Otamendi to head it. It bounced just in front of him. He tried to control it, bounced up off the slippery surface, hit him on the like the hip area, fell perfectly for Rashford, who had all the time in the world just to pick his spot, side-footed it past Edison. Wow, first real attack for United and they score. It's Manchester United won. Manchester City won almost at half time uh, as Lingard, who, who's been really quiet in the game, fouls Fernandinho in the centre circle to free kick. John but it was the switch wasn't it Martial was on the left Rash was on the right you know they started the game the other way around so there must have been a point where Mourinho switched them over and the goals come from Rashford who ended up on the right Rashford who, who scored here in the Champions League win in midweek he'd had his own little drought before that nine matches without a goal but now two in two and the score is 1-1 and uh, Otamendi carrying the ball deep into the Manchester United half and passes it straight out of play behind Gabriel Jesus so three into Manchester United but that is a monumental let off for, for United after this first half that is over now with the score at 1-1 dominated by City they, they made the breakthrough through David Silver in the 43rd minute and, and the feeling was well they may well go on from there but Manchester United just that that, that chance taken by Rashford poorly defended by City and it's 1-1 Robbie yeah you're right John dominant from Man City tactically brilliant playing Sir as the false number 9 with Jesus on the left side and right making the pitch as wide as possible that's allowing Silva and De Bruyne to get in the ball and dictate all the possession but a mistake there from Otamendi got on the flight of the ball Delft miscontrolled it but Rashford was alert little change from Mourinho tactically to swap the wingers around Rashford scores to the right hand side 1-1 one, one. is it deserved probably not City the better side yes the players just disappearing down the, the tunnel over to our left now and all of the uh, the spectators in the director's box a couple of them in fur coats you don't often see those, those these days I, I, I hope I trust it's not real fur but um Manchester United 1, Manchester City 1 is the half-time score. Thanks, Jonathan. Both teams are making a change at half-time. And um, it is 1-1 as the second half gets underway. Just a cheery word from Steve Bruce over to our left. I hope the effects microphone didn't pick that up. Uh, and um, the changes are... Uh, Victor Lindelof is on to replace Marcus Rojo who obviously cut his head in the first half uh, was able to continue but that's the end of his match and the change for Manchester City Vincent Kompany, the captain has been substituted and um, Ilkay Gundogan has come on into midfield so Fernandinho Robbie has dropped back into central defence yeah and you've got a look now if United can get the ball wide and get cross into the box for Lukaku who can peel onto Fernandinho that could be a huge threat going forward for United City attack again already Sterling now playing it through but the ball bounces away from Gabriel Jesus so Smalling's able to slide in and um, clear it out of play for a throw on the far side so Manchester United with the hair in goal Valencia Smalling substitute Lindelof and Young Herrera and Matic Lingard Rashford Martial and Lukaku and uh, the Manchester City team again in a, in a moment of two United though having to clear it away and in fact a free kick for, um, for the challenge over there on the far side and uh, free kick to United deep inside their own half so the City team now Edison Walker Fernandinho Otamendi and Delph Gundogan with De Bruyne David Silva Sterling Zane and Gabriel Jesus but the, if you weren't listening in the first half the uh, the interesting thing about the, the City tactical lineup is 
Sterling playing, as Robbie's been saying, as the false number nine with Gabriel Jesus on the left-hand side and Zane on the right-hand side. And that is how they've started the second half as well. So it's 1-1, both of the goals coming late in the first half. David Silva opening the scoring, but Marcus Rashford equalising in the third minute at added time at the end of the first half. City attacking from left to right in this second period sky blue shirts white shorts blue socks here they are against the red white and black of Manchester United and uh, Kyle Walker Kyle Walker just leaving it to De Bruyne De Bruyne now unchallenged is able to move infield and slip it through to David Silva who angles it back towards the penalty spot but uh, Herrera is able to step in under no pressure and pass it away to Martial and now Lukaku is around Fernandinho but Kyle Walker with the covering challenge to take it away from the Manchester United number nine Robbie Savage perfect situation there for Lukaku isolated against Fernandinho out wide knocks it round him but then as he try to take his second touch on his right foot Ooh, Delph in danger of giving it away uh, well I must say I, I thought that um, Gundogan was going to lose it on the edge of the on the edge of the box Otamendi I beg his pardon was going to lose it on the edge of the box here is Gundogan gives it to David Silva David Silva to the edge of the area but his attempted slipped pass through was blocked on the edge of the box and it's cleared out of play for a throw into Manchester City on the left hand side 1-1 uh, the score it's incredibly tight and cramped in here the place is absolutely packed as I say I nearly went flying Robbie over Juliet's handbag at half time which was which was underneath our seat all manner of perils at Old Trafford here's Sterling on the left hand side works it to Gabriel Jesus who uh, is being watched very closely by Rashford he's beaten Rashford brilliantly into the area now Gabriel Jesus then pulls it back took a deflection Delft puts his foot on the ball he plays it square to De Bruyne De Bruyne out to the right hand side but the pass lacked pace so Ashley Young was able to step forward and now Martial the two city players are on him still the Frenchman in possession though plays it back towards Matic drags it back against Silva he could have gone for the pass into the centre circle to Herrera but United have gone back see that's the where home. they miss a Pogba perfect opportunity to get the ball out of your feet and switch, switch the play pass forward the criticism of Herrera matters is both you know go sideways or back instead of their first thought forward that's where United miss a point but Carrick that type of player the first instinct from that position can we play forward yeah but Herrera in this match is playing such an important defensive role really that I think he's just got that mindset hasn't yeah. he in the game and when you're playing with the four attacking players as you are I think Herrera and Matis have to have that mindset just when you know it's a question of how they get the the pace Lingard for example here he is now on the left hand side brilliant from Lingard to beat Fernandinho but Fernandinho got quickly up back on his feet put the challenge in in the fullback area out of play for a throw that's two occasions Fernandinho's had to go wide once against Lukaku you know he went past him but Walker was to his rescue that time Lingard went past him but Lingard didn't need to check back on his right foot should have put the ball in with his left foot Young crossing right footed headed away by Gundogan the German international as uh, Matic has it here just pulls his foot over the ball to take it away from De Bruyne and then back into his own half towards Lindelof who uh, is going to see it all the way back to De Gea you can see the highlights of this match tonight at half past ten on BBC One match of the day two Alan Shearer and Danny Murphy will be alongside Mark Chapman here is Rashford ball bounces off Fernandinho Stratford end encouraging Manchester United on Martial on the left back to Rashford Rashford's ball across Lingard was in there couldn't get any sort of meaningful touch and Otamendi was able to clear it right behind him and he's cleared it as Manchester City break away now David Silva towards Zane on the right hand side Zane up against Ashley Young Zane's passed through into the penalty area Sterling Sterling's touch just a little too heavy and Lindelof actually did well went with him and was able to, to shepherd it behind for a, a goal kick. Well defended, Lindelof. Well, first and foremost, United attacking down the left-hand side. Link-up play between Rashford and Martial. Martial cut it back to Rashford, crossed it with his left foot, and Lingard has a good chance. He made that run to the near post. He got in front of Otamendi, tried to guide it in with his left foot, missed it, and then great defender from Lindelof to deny Zizus 
in the Manchester United area. Remember, Ibrahimovic is among the Manchester United subs. But uh, Sterling works it down the right to Zane. Gabriel Jesus making ground in the middle. Zane does really well, beats two men. Still going, left foot shot. No, he's skied it, got right underneath it. Uh, Smalling slid in with a challenge. And that went out of play, well, probably halfway between the goal and the corner flag. Uh, and into the lower tier of the, the East Stand to our right. Manchester City supporters to our right. Well, everyone's warmly wrapped up, aren't they? Even though the snow... Well, it hasn't quite stopped, has it yet? Flakes are still floating down on Old Trafford. This match that, remember, really, Manchester United, Robbie, got to win it. Yeah, they, you know, they would have go within five points of City. You know, little change now. Sterling's come over to the right-hand side. You know, is it Sane that's gone into the false number nine position? Yes, it is. So he's just made a little change there. The question, though, for Manchester United is whether they can get the pace of... Rashford and Martial you know Fernandinho now playing in central defence because company I presume has had to go off whether they can use that pace against those two at the other end United having to defend and now Gabriel Jesus just a little trip by uh, Herrera and it's a free kick in a good position when you've got players who can deliver the ball like the Bruner and David Silva in your team yeah it was a foul you know he was trying to win the ball the wrong side of Herrera you know caught Jesus twice good position now De Bruyne what are we John 25 yards out to the left of the penalty area good opportunity to whip the ball in but you wouldn't say you know City aren't committing men forward really John there's only Jesus Otamendi and Fernandinho in the box well De Bruyne runs over it David Silva will play it left footed oh Lukaku clears it deflected it's in Otamendi has scored and put Manchester City back in front a fortunate break of the ball a limp clearance by Lukaku a deflection right into the path of Otamendi in the six yard box and he scored to make it 2-1 to Manchester City wow Lukaku to be fair to me gets himself into a good position defensively so De Bruyne runs over Silva whips in he goes to the back post it's on the six yard line Lukaku tries to half volley it clear with his right foot he miss kicks it it hits the back of Smalling falls to Otto Mendy on the six yard line and then he volleys it into the net good finish David De Gea couldn't react fizz past David De Gea slice of fortune with Lukaku initially done well but then a terrible miscued clearance on his wrong foot hits more in two Otamendi 2-1 City Manchester United 1 Manchester City 2 and City the leaders are back in front and back on course for 14 Premier League wins in a row and for both goals for both goals the ball has bounced off Lukaku into the path of a Manchester City player just going to say that first corner for City where they had on that right hand side he was defending Otamendi, defending well, heads his chest, went into the path of David Silva, goal, and then that one there, that was a poor clearance, hit Smalling, Otamendi unmarked, six yards out, like Silva was, 2-1. Free kick, Manchester United, uh, Rashford, little foul on Rashford, one of those little fouls that Mourinho was talking about before the game, Manchester City now have Manchester United where they want them, and... Valencia can't keep the ball in on the far side and it's a throw in to Manchester City so we're back on for this potential record never before in the top flight of English football in the same season has a team won 14 league matches in a row and Manchester United facing defeat here for the first time since Manchester City won here in the September of last season so Ten minutes played, a little more than that in the second half. And uh, Ibrahimovic has been sent out to warm up for Manchester United. Jose Mourinho watching on almost motionlessly. Guardiola could deal more animated. And uh, it is the City supporters who are celebrating in their little section. 3,000 of them to our right. 2-1 Manchester City lead. This is BBC Five Live and the World Service. Here at Old Trafford, De Bruyne, City 
no let up from them that's the Guardiola way 2-1 up but they're not sitting on this Zane now cutting in from the left hand side back towards the bearded German Gundogan David Silva David Silva and Otamendi the goal scorers Nicolas Otamendi scored last weekend didn't he the equaliser when you were watching them that's his fifth goal of the season for the central defender and um, it is City actually who are going to make the next change they're coming forward David Silva playing it to Sterling on the right hand side Gabriel Jesus inside the box Sterling will go back behind him to Kyle Walker yeah I wonder it'll be, will it be Fernandinho because on two occasions his lack of pace against Lukaku and Martial has just been exposed a little bit he's playing as a centre half you know I think the wise thing from Pep Guardiola would to be a, a centre half in that position so Mangal has got good pace you know, will it be Fernandino that comes off? Mangala waiting to come on on the sidelines, but there, well, you're talking, Robbie, another brilliant example of Manchester City playing the ball, passing the ball from the back when they were, you know, in tight situations there. Uh, Ashley Young is, the ball's out of play. It's a free kick for a, a foul on Ashley Young. Well, no, it's going to be Gabriel Jesus who's going to make way for, for Mangala. So with City 2-1 up. Yeah, well, I think what will happen now, he'll probably put... Mangal in the, in the centre half, you know, or, and Fernandinho go up to Gundawan and Silva plays a false number nine. That's an option. Or will he go five at the back? Let's have a look what he's going to do. So on he comes. Mangala runs across to, to Fernandinho, gives him the instructions, yeah. and Fernandinho steps forward. And Silva's gone as a false number nine. So Gundawan and Fernandinho now as the protective two. Silver goals in a false number nine sound on the left, there on the right. That's Premier League midfielder Robbie Savage with us here at Old Trafford. Manchester United one, Manchester City two is the score. With City in front for the second time in the match. And the unfortunate Lukaku, the ball hitting him and falling to a Manchester City player for both of the City goals. Here's uh, Matic, halfway inside his own half, but being put under pressure by De Bruyne. Matic receives it back from Lindelof, goes for a long high pass over the top, looking to use the pace, but Mangala into the game for the first time, clearing it towards De Bruyne in the centre circle. De Bruyne gets it back from Gundogan, that's a brilliant pass from De Bruyne, perfectly into the path of Zane, whose cross is intercepted by a falling Smalling, and it's out of play for a throw on the left-hand side. You've got to say, John, you know, you, looking at this City side, you wouldn't think they were playing against Manchester United or Old Trafford. You would think the way they're performing, the way they're having the possession, the way they're keeping the ball, they were playing against the, you know, mid-table Premier League side. You know, they're that dominant. You know, they, every player knows exactly what they're doing. They've got a great shape about them. United haven't got going at all in forward areas. No, and, you know, all hail Manchester City for that. Yeah. They, they've come here as we suggested and uh, talked about before the game and, and they've played exactly the way that they have done all season they've come here taken the game to Manchester United dominated possession and they're winning 2-1 and they're on course for for win number 15 in the Premier League this season out of 16 matches it's remarkable really here we are the snow falling in December and they've dropped only two points and winning at Old Trafford free kick for City after Zane was fouled over on the left hand side David Silva likes the look of this here he is crosses it actually hits the one man wall uh, and is cleared away hooked away by Lingard on the edge of the box comes back to City in the centre circle now Walker is going to hit it long long pass down into the full back position Smalling has come across and headed it down but uh, Fernandinho will coolly just allow it to roll out of play for a throw in to uh, Manchester City down in front of us here still Guardiola so animated that little black bomber jacket he's got the little yellow ribbon on today by the way the uh, the pro Catalan ribbon despite what Jose Mourinho said but he's also got a thick black scarf wrapped around his neck and at the moment things are going his way throw in for United Ashley Young is going to take this towards Herrera forward from Young and then uh, hooked forward by Fernandinho a high one for David Silva who's been towered over by Smalling who 
hooks a leg around the little Spaniard, clears it towards the centre circle. Rashford gets a touch, Matic, but he's running into trouble there. Uh, blue shirts, fortunate bounce for the ball for Manchester United. Valencia takes it away over the halfway line. Zane closes him down, so Valencia has to go back towards Lingard. United fans need a lift, John. You know, Zlatan Ibrahimic warming up, he's got to bring him on. You know, he'll get the fans going, he'll give the crowd a lift. Need to do something different because Lukaku's had no joy whatsoever. Uh, and now, now frustration for Rashford on the far side as uh, he's challenged by Mangala. Ball bounces out of play off Rashford, and there's the frustration writ large in front of our eyes as Rashford picks up the ball and bounces it down in uh, in anger, in frustration. Call it what you like. Uh, and Michael Oliver has walked the cross and shown him a yellow card for that show of frustration. So as the suggestion is that he was throwing the ball away but you know it's not Manchester United's position here to waste time uh, and, and actually I think I think it's probably because it was so close to the assistant that he bounced the ball into the ground so it was dissent petulance that he was yellow carded for so it is uh, Manchester United 1 Manchester City 2 lots to talk about from this game from the, the Liverpool Everton 1-1 draw at Anfield from Southampton 1, Arsenal 1, Hibs 2, Celtic 2 as well. Hibs coming from 2-0 down in that match. Uh, and the lines are open for 6-0-6 with Kelly Cates and Ian Wright on 08 085 Get in touch as well at BBC 606 on social media. Manchester United, Lukaku stretches forward on the edge of the box. Uh, Lingard just a little petulantly, a, a mini sort of not a kick out sort of flat with his foot in the direction of Walker as uh, City were clearing it away but this is an exercise in frustration for Manchester United they just can't get at Manchester City certainly can you know City defensively as soon as Rashford or Martial get the ball the full backs Delph and Walker right on their toes not giving them the opportunity to knock the ball past them a City break again yes they do Gundogan now to David Silva it's three against two. David Silva into the penalty area. Zane drops back. Silva back onto E. Checks back. Oh. Then plays into the penalty area. He's turned across, but not into the path of Sterling. Young was able to come across and clear it away. Gundogan making a really effective run into the box there from deep. That, that's, that's what you get from Gundogan. He's so good at that. Brilliant play from Manchester City. David Silva pulling the strings. The run from Gundogan. If Sterling would have gambled and made the run across you know into that near post he'd have had a tap in he was on his heels Ashley and read it if he'd have gambled Sterling it would have been 3-1 all City United can't get the ball they can't attack crowd are getting frustrated absolutely dominant from Manchester City yeah and Manchester United's equaliser the goal that they did score which was the last effort that they had on goal was, was, was out of the blue yeah you know you've got to be looking now Matter Lingard's been in a ineffective in that position behind Lukaku you know look at, have a look at Mata you've got to bring Zlatan on just to even give the crowd to lift something needs to happen here it's so quiet from these Old Trafford fans City must be absolutely loving this 2-1 up at Old Trafford oh. Lingard slips it forward to Lukaku to the edge of the area Lukaku shoots high and wide from the angle with City defenders getting back into position he went for it and he shot wide Lukaku that's the perfect scenario for, for Manchester United. Also, they giving the ball away to Matic, who played it forward. Then Lingard, you know, good ball to Lukaku. 18 yards out on the right hand side. Not on his, you know, favoured foot. He didn't have the confidence to go at Mangala there, who actually done quite well. Lukaku's first attempt on goal in this match 2 1 Manchester City. City. After the goal kick from Edison, suddenly they're in possession halfway inside the Manchester United half again. BBC Five Live and the World Service, 6.06 on the way with Ian Wright and Kelly Cates. But Sterling now to David Silva. I think Young was impeding Sterling, but David Silva in possession. Gundogan is then bowled over. It's quite a strong challenge from Herrera. And um, the free kick is given Manchester United's way for Gundogan's challenge on Herrera. Yeah, I think that could have been the other way around. So do I. Fair, yeah. You know, Gundogan presenting the ball, Herrera coming in from the side. Michael Oliver right in the spot, though. I think he's refereed the game quite well today, John, to be yeah, fair. He has. It's very interesting. You know, I heard 
Mark Kleffenberg, who's been in the news this week, but he was on Sports Week this morning with Jonathan Ledchart. So it was a really interesting, just a little word he said at the end. He said the, he was enjoying not having the pressure of being a Premier League referee, which, uh, you know, when you consider that he was without question the best referee in the Premier League, you know, the fact that there is that pressure all the time for these referees, I think that's something you always have to bear it in mind. It was their choice to be a pre- it is, yeah. referee, John. But, you know, he decided he'd had enough of it. 2-1 Manchester City lead. And uh, Manchester City in, in no hurry with this throw. But here they are taking it, Delph, and eventually Zane runs away down the left-hand side, not committing too many forward now in this position, leading by two goals to one. David Silva lifts it beautifully back over the top for Zane. Zane to the byline, still in possession, crosses, takes a deflection, and it bounces into the path of Jung, who clears it away. Out to De Bruyne, he shoots. It's blocked inside the area by Matic, I think it was. Manchester United making no impression on this City lead. Uh, and then De Bruyne slides in to pop it out of play it's amazing really Manchester City are making Manchester United look like an average side this is a side before the star play you know eight points behind them in the Premier League the nearest contenders yet City have come here totally dominated and making United look so average is untrue and Manchester City start again from inside their own half Fernandinho uh, well Sterling tried to shield it from Young but Young did well and won it and played it forward towards Martial and then Sterling tackling back on Martial sends him flying as Martial was approaching the penalty area now that is a free kick in a good position for Manchester United but um, you know, the way that the game has gone United desperately need to make the most of opportunities like this such has been City's dominance good play from Ashley Young actually the ball was into Sterling on the half rail he just tried to let it run across his body he'd have been away Ashley Young took a chance nipped in you know won the ball give it to Martial now what are we 23-24 yards out slightly to the left of the goal five man City wall will it be Rashford will it be Young who scored such a great free kick at Watford similar position John the money would be on Rashford the two of them are standing just a couple of yards apart. Rashford comes up first. He strikes it over the wall, but over the bar as well. There was wobble on it, but it wouldn't dip down, and it dipped over the crossbar for a goal kick to Manchester City, who lead 2-1. Yeah, is that technique, the Ronaldo technique, where you hit it you know, straight on, you know, and the ball does wobble about? You know, I'd like to have seen Ashley Young take it from there. Scored a great win at Watford. But Rashford went for it. So 2-1 Manchester City lead. If they they win this, as I say, it would be a a new record for the top flight of 14 consecutive wins in the same season. Here's De Bruyne, a lovely layoff by Zane. De Bruyne now free, running to the edge of the area. Shoots low and De Gea has to go down to his right to get a good hand on it and deflect it away for a corner. And Guardiola puts his hands to his face. Brilliant play, John. It's Silva, De Bruyne... You know, Silva made a good run to take Small in the way. That allowed the space for Kevin De Bruyne to drive into. Great with both feet. Hits it low to David De Gea's right. Good save from him. You know, it's just a matter of time before City get the third. Looks like it, doesn't it? Oh, Kevin De Bruyne. They're <laughs> singing the City supporters. Corner then. Sane, high. He's done it again. He did that in the first half. Over everyone. De Bruyne, though, manages to keep it in play on the right-hand side. Plays it to Sterling. Sterling, oh. oh nutmeg on Ashley Young Sterling, Sterling now to David Silva inside the box, tried to do the same on Matic, wasn't able to and Manchester United, clear it towards Lingard who's running free, and Lingard slips it forward to Martial Martial, well challenged by Walker Lingard on the edge of the D Gundogan in with a challenge down went Lingard, referee Oliver was there, no free kick, and then uh, down goes Herrera under a challenge from David Silva then Matic shrugs David Silva off the ball still Michael Oliver says no free kick and now De Bruyne wins it back from Martial and in the end United with Ashley Young bring it all the way back to the hair so Michael Oliver come back and book David Silva as soon as the ball goes out you've got to say plays the falls number nine he scored the goal he's putting himself about David Silva making tackles you know, but I'm sure Michael Oliver will come back and book. Yeah, that must be the first recorded instance of David Silva putting himself about. 
That's not his game. Well, if David Silva can put himself about, this Manchester City team can do anything. And they're leading here by two goals to one against their City rivals, United. City, who were the last team to beat Manchester United here last season. There's a City player is down in the centre circle. De Bruyne has taken a bang on the head. Uh, referee Oliver comes over and just checks on him and then stops playing. Frustration from the, the home supporters. Well, he's sitting up now, having taken a bang on the right side. And a uh, yellow card for David Silva from the earlier incident when he was putting himself about. You've got to look at it now, John. What are we, 18 minutes to go plus injury time? You've got to look to the Manchester United substitutes now. You've got Zlatan Ibrahimovic on, you know, warming up. You've got Mata warming up. You know, Lukaku's, you know, not had much service today to his, you know, from midfield areas. One opportunity, he had a hand inadvertently in both City goals and the thing is about City today John even though they've been dominant they've not really opened Manchester United up for the goals they've been mistakes from United players yeah. just seeing again the challenge by David Silva it was late and he stepped on him but it was a yellow card no more than that De Bruyne has uh, received his treatment he's OK he's quickly back on the field uh, back to 11 against 11 5 live and the World Service from the BBC live from Old Trafford still snow gently drifting down and here is David Silva Silva pass is deflected and then Lingard is in but the ball bounces to De Bruyne but the referee says that there is the foul on, on Lingard and it's a free kick to Manchester United on the halfway line and now Robbie Mourinho is calling I presume for Ibrahimovic with uh, what have we got just over 15 minutes to play yeah, listen, no. offside flag is up against Rashford it isn't the crowd let's give the crowd a lift you know, probably 20 minutes all in with injury time left. Now, what will he do? Will he leave Lukaku on? I think he will. You know, will he? Who's he going to take off? That's the big question. Will he take Herrera off and maybe just leave Matic in front of the back four and try and get the equaliser? Because if you lose this game, John, title's over. 08 085 909 693 to talk to Ian Wright and Kelly Cates on 606 tonight on 5 Live for well, wherever you are in the world. And the snow just intensifies a little Zlatan Ibrahimovic who scored in this fixture last year when Manchester City won by two goals to one which is the same scoreline we have just at the moment Manchester City looking at an 11 point lead tonight as the halfway stage of the Premier League approaches but, but what a blow it would be for them to strike against Manchester United to win here at Old Trafford and end this 40 match unbeaten run for Manchester United the only team that's beaten Mourinho's Manchester United here at Old Trafford is Manchester City and they might now do it twice Smalling to Lindelof Lingard calls for it Lukaku calls for it but Manchester United in possession on the halfway line Never at any point during the game of Manchester United put City under nope. sustained pressure which is a hallmark of Manchester United at Old Trafford almost every game you come to oh missed by Delft now Manchester United could be in Rashford shoots Edison goes down well and pushes it round it was quite close to him from an angle right side of the box but it was hit with some pace and Edison shoved it round for a corner Delft just switching off there like he switched off for the goal try to control it miscontrolled it Rashford away right hand side shot Edison save corner United Ibrahimovic is coming forward we're, go we're going to see the change I think before the Manchester United corner we are Mourinho wants him on now for Lingard so here he comes the lion himself hasn't been involved in the last couple of games just a little reaction I think after coming back after such a long period of and Ibrahimovic has roared onto the field a roar for the lion corner for Manchester United from the right here it is swung to the near post headed away by Mangala comes out to Young Young will drill it back towards the, the right arm having come back from an offside position Rashford is offside and it's a free kick to Manchester City and so much for that turning into pressure for Manchester United but Ibrahimovic United Mourinho will hope yeah. will change it well it looks like it's going to be a you know four 
2-4 or 4-4-2 whichever way if they're brave they leave Martial, Lukaku, Ibrahimovic and Rashford up top looks like they're going to do that John with just Herrera and Matic in the middle of the park so it's brave from Jose four up front can they go and get the equaliser he's oh. got, well he's got to yeah. be brave got to he? be brave you may as well get beat three John yeah he if you lose set. this the title's over Ibrahimovic trying to play through to the edge of the area City there in good numbers Ibrahimovic then shoves over Fernandinho no free kick sure it should have been but um, it finds its way all the way back towards David De Gea in the goal to our right we're into the last 15 minutes of the 90 now yeah they are just leaving the four players up front standing against the City bat line and Ibrahimovic had just straight into an offside position the long pass hit forward by Lindelof and it's a free kick to City you know I think that what Pep will do now he'll be brave as well in terms of he'll just l- allow Fernandinho Gundogan De Bruyne Silva Sane Sterling attack it's gonna be, this could be a fascinating last 15 minutes it's it's not been an absolute rip snort you anyone, before the game didn't I you did, you did say that and I, di- I didn't disbelieve you yeah. but um, despite the match that we've seen unfold it is still finally played yeah it is it's um, hopefully we'll get a rip roaring last 12 and a half minutes John <laughs> here's the young clears it up towards Lukaku who turns oh. it to Martial back to Lukaku is into the penalty area still Lukaku covering challenge comes in really good one from Mangala uh, and he took it away from United's number nine but then a heavy touch from Otamendi and then a free kick is given against Herrera well Mangala came in with the challenge and, and now we've got a little bit of pushing and shoving in here I mean there's quite a reaction by Herrera he felt that he had a case for a penalty in there Michael Oliver's given the free kick against Herrera and shown him a yellow card for his short descent well, I think he might have booked him for, for Michael Oliver's opinion throwing himself to the ground far too easy John we're going to look at it now I think it might have been for the descent you know Oof, I tell you what we're looking at the oh. replay now you look at Altamendi's reaction the challenge. he's caught Herrera on the left leg there John and Herrera Altamendi. has thrown himself down he has but his, his contact Altamendi then put his arms to the side up in the air that's a big call from Michael Oliver Manchester United 1 Manchester City 2 Herrera booked you, you think that's for the dive rather than for the descent the yellow card it was it a dive though John was it a dive John there was contact there Ottomani stuck his, stuck his leg out poor Herrera uh, now a stoppage because um, City player has gone down in the uh, centre circle of Sterling and um, he's taking his time to get to his feet Juan Mata looks as though he's being prepared by Manchester United and that'll be Jose Mourinho's final change having brought on Lindelof for Rojol and Ibrahimovic for Lingard so the score here at Old Trafford Manchester United 1 Manchester City 2 talk about it on 5 Live with Ian Wright and Kelly Cates get in touch at BBC 606 on your social media or 08085 909 693 to book your call we have what have we got 10 minutes of the 90 to play Smalling clears it hoops it according to the city supporters downfield Lukaku's been really poor today for Manchester United John headed it straight back to Manchester City yeah there'll be a lot of talk about Lukaku won't there I'm sure on 6 or 6 because these are the games that the Manchester United play you've got to perform in Go United that's a poor clearance straight to Gundogan Gund- oh and that's a poor ball through from Gundogan for a goal kick that's the worst period of play we've seen in the game right and here's little Juan Mata coming on scored a winning goal against Manchester City last season if you remember in the League Cup the EFL Cup as it was and uh, he's going to replace Herrera so Herrera's off now and Jose Mourinho now, he's, he has to call for it now Ibrahimovic has come on now when matter is on and it might open the way for Manchester City to get that third goal that they're after to kill the game off now entirely Mangala clearing the ball away done okay John since he's come on Mangala 
Now that block from Lukaku, he's, he was in the box. You know, Mangala stood his ground and what a good tackle from Lukaku. De Bruyne rolls the ball through the middle but wins it away from Sterling. So De Gea clearing into the centre circle, headed on by Ibrahimovic. But Kyle Walker turns and slices it out of play over the halfway line for a swing right in between where Guardiola and Mourinho are watching on Guardiola um, watching as Otamendi is challenged aerially by Ibrahimovic and fouled and it's a free kick in fact the offside flag is up yeah United now when they get the ball in the defensive positions are hitting the high lawn to Ibrahimovic or Lukaku can one of those get a flick on you know remember the goal against Spurs was it when you know Lukaku flicked on for Martial they'll need Martial's and Rashford pacing behind it they're going to resort to the high ball to the two set of forwards ball's won back by Smalling now Martial up towards Ibrahimovic who tried to flick it in field for Lukaku but Otamendi was strong in the challenge came in won it against Ibrahimovic given away by Walker now though Mata to Matic Martial on the left hand side but the pace of the United attack has slowed and now Mata makes a run down into the full back position City are shouting for offside the flag's up yeah he just tried to bend his run Mata there across the 18 yard line out wide Ref, the linesman waited for Mata to touch the ball then flagged him offside he's going to see the replay now he's got to say he was onside John mm. it was Otamendi playing him onside free kick though it's been given Manchester United 1 Manchester City 2 so City if they hang on to this they'll they will set a new top flight record for consecutive wins in the same season they will equal Arsenal's record of 14 consecutive league wins in a row which was set across two seasons back in 0102 and the start of 0203 and it would equal the entire league record of 14 wins in a row which was set by three second division teams one of whom were Manchester United so records beginning to tumble for Manchester City but Manchester United trying to do something about this here's Young on the right hand side Young's crossed towards the edge of the area Ibrahimovic takes it down lays it back to Mata he clips it across the box Martial in Lukaku with a shot it's blocked blocked by Edison again the ball runs free and it's cleared away and what a double save by the Manchester City goalkeeper and it's just not been Lukaku's day oh Edison what a double save that was that was the moment it was United Mata flicked it to the back post great ball from Martial Lukaku on the six yard line on his left foot centre of the goal smashes it goalwards Edison I think it hits him in the throat area the first save and then he reacts it's Mata he then he saves it with his left arm Mangala clears off the line that was the chance Edison absolutely magnificent and he's actually injured himself in the midst of all that the Manchester City goalkeeper but John he's been brilliant John with the ball at his feet yeah. it was the first shot from Lukaku smashed it into the throat of Edison what but, an opportunity but for everyone who might have seen David De Gea's double save last week against Arsenal I, I think this beats that yeah I totally agree John it certainly does and uh, wherever it's hit him I mean he stunned us with that save and he's been stunned himself by it but he's okay they've given him a drink of water which will be freezing cold on an afternoon like this got to score Lukaku Maffei from that situation on his left foot six yards out centre of goal mm. great cross from Mal has to score yeah 2-1 Manchester City lead and that's a that's a real blow for Manchester United that could win it that, that double save could win it for Manchester City but here's another high one into the area Ibrahimovic and Otamendi grappling away with one another and it's over both of them for a goal kick tell you what John you know the absence of company this season in the majority of games Otamendi has certainly stepped up to the plate I think he's been magnificent for City today the five goals this season has he got the winning goal you know defensively as well you know they needed a leader you know he stepped up no question about it the addition of Edison as well you know City dominant today Lukaku should have equalised there but overall City have been brilliant there's uh, Zane is away from Lindelof into the penalty area Smalling comes across Zane still in the box ball stuck to his left foot 
Silkoin has been forced out into the full back position he's taken it towards the corner flag very wise the young German and he's won a corner well done Leroy Zane very good play very sensible play yeah I think it came off Marlin's heel there good play from Sane down the left hand side uh, Pep Guardiola is just giving some final instructions to Bernardo Silva who will be the third Manchester City substitute to uh, to come on and that will complete the changes someone throws a, a toilet roll on from that corner of Old Trafford how very old fashioned you know I'm on 6 or 6 later with Kelly and Ian you know I'd like to here from Wrighty, you know, as a centre forward for a huge football club like Wrighty was at Arsenal and like Lukaku is for Manchester United, you know, is your legacy depends on how many you scores you score in big games for a football club. You know, Wrighty scored in big games, Lukaku, you know, as you said, he hasn't scored against the top six this season, John. You know, will his legacy also be defined about big goals in big games? Well, that was one of the questions raised at him when he when he came to Manchester United made a brilliant start 11 quick goals they've dried up and he's had a poor day today and it's Zane who has been substituted and of course more games coming in the Premier League on Tuesday and Wednesday night we'll have commentary on both nights here on 5 Live all of the matches covered of course this will be the place to hear all of the goals and all of the action and uh, we'll have commentary on both nights Tuesday and Wednesday Monday night club tomorrow by the way to, to discuss all with Mark Chapman from 7 o'clock but today it looks as though it's going to be Manchester City's day again John the biggest thing is for Manchester United is the lack of creativity in the middle of the park no question about it they have missed Paul Pogba everybody said it when he got sent off against Arsenal no they, he will be a massive miss in the derby you know, there's nobody pass ball from that midfield position. Simple as that. Paul Pogba, is he that? Imp- he's so important to this Manchester United side. You know, they, they just lack of creativity in the park. Yeah, it's certainly a question for Jose Mourinho. That afterwards, when uh, he faces all of those interviewers, twenty of them were told he'll have to do twenty interviews in the tunnel and then come and play, face the press. Not sure when he gets to the press room, he's going to be in the best of order. Here's Sterling on the right-hand side. As uh, Young does well against them, clears it out of play, but it's a Manchester City throw just down to our right. The City supporters in buoyant mood up there. And uh, this, is, this is driving home their advantage at the top of the Premier League table. What a season they're having. What a win this will be. As uh, Sterling is hacked down by Ashley Young, and it's a free kick to City in the United left back area again another show of frustration from United who, who've just not been able to lay a glove on no. City yellow card for Young just so done with Manchester City at Old Trafford in possession our possession you would say the two goals were slightly fortunate you know you would say it was a mistake from Manchester City which led to Rashford's goal so not great play from either side for all the three goals but in terms of the way they've gone about their business, Man City to at Old Trafford, <laughs> at times they've made Manchester United look particularly average. Well done, Sterling. Free kick was taken short. Martial and Young were there, and he's won a corner when uh, City left four men back there, even though they had a free kick. Didn't have anyone in the penalty area. And Jose Mourinho now just goes across to John Moss, the fourth official, who's shown that there is four minutes of added time. And Mourinho saying, well, what about that? And what about that? And what about the other? And then there was this. Throwing taken. Uh, Bernardo Silva inside the penalty area on the right-hand side. But he weaves it back out into the full-back position to run it towards the corner flag again and wins a throw-in of uh, Anthony Marcia. You know, listen to Laurel before the Liverpool game about game management. This is what we're seeing here for Manchester City. Game management by experienced players. Brilliant play, running down the clock. This is what you do. And they've done it again because Bernardo Silva wins another throw-in off Ashley Young this time. De Bruyne <laughs> wins another throw-in this time off Lindelof. Just kicking it against the nearest Manchester United John, player out for a throw. They're playing with Manchester they United. They are trying with them. At Old Trafford. They've done it all afternoon. Yeah. And what a tune they've played. 
2-1 Manchester City now the scoreline is tight but really there's been a greater gulf between the two sides such a confident display the sort of possession that Manchester City that Guardiola wants uh, another City player is, is down holding his head it's the Bruyne frustration again from the home supporters he's taken a, a bang on the head uh, and referee Oliver comes across and I think he's going to give it as a drop ball because De Bruyne hasn't needed any medical treatment and he's dropped it for David De Gea to clear down the field for Manchester United so four minutes of added time we've already had a couple of them Manchester City are on the way to a record breaking, record breaking and record equalling victory here and what a place to do it here's Sterling he turns oh. away in the centre circle danger, danger for Manchester United Sterling, now to Bernardo Silva Valencia comes in with a challenge Bernardo Silva goes down and no penalty obviously Michael Oliver feels that Valencia took the ball there and I think it did deflect out to the far side so I think perhaps he did oh, Bernardo Silva got straight up back to his feet I'm not sure that Valencia took any of the ball there 2-1 Manchester City lead 5 live in the world service we've brought you this thrilling game even though it hasn't been a classic but it's certainly oh. been significant and De Bruyne now with a long pass through and Bernardo Silva is in and he shoots from an angle but David De Gea stood up very well from the tight angle and blocked it with his legs it's almost like the long barrier he put in there to deflect it behind from Manchester City corner we're almost done here we're in the last minute yeah. what a ball from Kevin De Bruyne Bernardo Silva took his time Valencia got back should have scored should have been three City oh uh, someone's thrown a, a flare down very close to Bernardo Silva a red flare that's that, that's pumping out red smoke and, and that you know that could have hit Bernardo Silva that was not a good moment corner's been taken short by Manchester City it bounces off David Silva and uh and it's behind for a goal kick Jose Mourinho looks fed up walks across stalks across to a water bottle sprays it into his mouth been outplayed been outplayed Jose Mourinho's Manchester United by Pep Guardiola's Manchester City and now City come again Sterling to De Bruyne De Bruyne in the box on the right centres it but a sliding young deflects it behind for another Manchester City corner United all over the place City could have won by more big chance for Lukaku to equalise it would have been unfair there's not the final whistle yet John no not quite yet because it's a corner to Manchester City Whoop. the water bottle almost upset but that might have filled Juliet's handbag with water there here's De Bruyne on the right hand side there's the final whistle Manchester City cheers and rejoicing inside Old Trafford excellent excellent Manchester City they've won by two goals to one but really the margin of victory was much greater yeah dominant from City toying with Manchester United at Old Trafford at times 11 points clear City the way they played tactically got the better of, of their opponents dominant play City deserved winners could have been more brilliant from Pep's men so Manchester United lose at home for the first time in 41 matches in all competitions the last team that beat them here Manchester City and as for City records coming their way it's the first time that a team in the top flight of English football have won 14 consecutive wins in the same season and it equals Arsenal's record of 14 league wins which was set across two seasons in the top flight and after this Pep Guardiola being embraced by his coaching staff Brian Kidd of course one of them who won the European Cup with Manchester United 50 years ago but uh, great scenes of celebration from Manchester City here on the touchline and the players as well who've gone across to the celebrating Manchester City supporters and after this I mean goodness sake 16 matches played won 15 drawn 1 and they've won it Old Trafford they've won it Old Trafford against United by 2 goals to 1 and they're in a dominant position in this Premier League